So it is now halfway through 2021. I've tested out quite a few pieces of equipment, but I decided to make this video to show you what I currently still own and use for all of my home workouts. Let's take a look. So first off, I am using the Undersun Loop Bands. Now I have fallen in love with these bands. I did have a rough start with them as I did snap a band early on, but after support replaced it, it has been some of the best bands I have ever used. And my whole setup, including my Instar Resistance Band Bar, the triangle links that attach and then hold the bands in them, as well as the step 4-inch plate that I stand on, have really improved my home workout programming. I'm actually only using that right now in testing, and I really do love it. It might be something I move and only use uh, in the future. So it could be that this is my top recommendation, the cheapest one, and I'm going to be using it solely moving forward, but I will jump into my next one as well. So moving into option number two, I have body weight. And I picked this one because it is cheaper than the third one, which is the dumbbells. But for body weight, I recommend that you have the following items. First, some type of doorway pull-up bar, and my top recommendation, which is expensive by the way, are the cross grips, which are two separate handles that attach just to the top door frame. And you can then do all of your pull-ups, you can do hanging leg raises, anything that requires a lot of the upper body, you can do with those pulling movements. It can also drop down to do things like push-ups with them, so they can become handles for those push-ups. But just know, I really only use them for pull-up style exercises. And my second piece of equipment I recommend that you get for body weight training are the Lieber Fitness Equalizer Dip Bar Station. So I have the XL size uh, dip bars that you can use, and these have worked great. They are amazing for dips. You can do things like L-sits, also inverted rows. All of those I like to do in my body weight style programming, and I think these are the best ones you can buy in the market. Still pretty expensive again, but these have lasted a very long time, and they take my top recommendation for body weight exercise equipment you should use at home. And for a bonus, if you would like to focus on doing more ab style exercises, I haven't been doing this a lot in my training recently, but if you are someone who wants to uh, develop your abs a little bit more and get some tension on them, you could do something like an ab roller wheel. And I recommend the Fit Nessary, if that's how you say it, ab roller wheel, as it is cheap and does the job very, very well. Um, it's very small in size. You can pretty much take it anywhere you want it to go. Again, I don't use this all the time, but I do have it in my fitness equipment when I want to take it out and use it. And with that, we are into the last group that you can look into buying, and that is the dumbbells with a bench. So for me, I use the Core Fitness Adjustable Dumbbells, and these are dumbbells that you can change from five all the way up to 50 pounds by just changing the handle left or right. So it changes in increments of five up and down, depending on the direction you turn the handle. Now I've had these things for a very long time, and with all of the virus going around and everything, I saw the prices jump all the way down. I think they're under 300 at one point, all the way up to about 700, and now they're down to right the 350, 400 range. So they've come down in price, and these take my top as being my favorite adjustable dumbbells. Yes, they are limited to just 50 pounds, so if you need something more than that, you might need to look elsewhere, but if that's all you're looking for, these are by far my favorite. I've used other ones like Power Blocks, but they're just nothing compared to these core fitness dumbbells if you're looking for anything at 50 pounds or less. And to supplement that, I recommend getting an adjustable bench. And the one I always recommend is the Flybird adjustable weight bench that you can buy. My only gripe with it is that it is 21 inches off the ground. So if you are someone who is pretty short, you may find that it's hard to actually anchor your feet onto the floor because it is pretty high up, as well as doing things like hip thrusts. But if you're someone like me around the six foot, 5'11 to six feet tall, that's pretty much perfect. Or if you're taller than that, you can get away with that height. So just know you may need to look into something else if you're a bit shorter than that. But for me, it is good in my home workouts. So outside of those three options, there is cardio. Now you can keep cardio 100% free if you like, or be like me and spend quite a bit on something like a smart AI bike. So I do have the Renfo AI Spin bike that I do use and it can actually change the resistance depending on the course that you pick within the Renfo app. What I love about it is it was about $600 for me to buy, which was I got a $200 off coupon because I got it at release. And I think they still have coupons on the site, um, either on Amazon or their own. But just know once you buy this bike, there's no additional membership 
as of right now. So I don't, things could change, but as of right now, there's no additional membership for this bike, and that is why I love it. So again, it can change the resistance for me. It was only about $600 to buy, which is cheap for a smart AI bike. Most of these run into the thousands of dollars and have some kind of membership. So that is why I recommend this one. It does everything I needed to do for my home workouts, nothing too fancy and I can get that cardio session in. And that is it for my video on all the equipment I use for my home workouts. If you did like it, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. And make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out the current home workout program I have on the website right now, all the equipment I currently own and use, which does change over time. So depending on when you watch this, it might be completely different. And then of course, all the information I'm learning from to continue to build muscle and confidence all from the comfort of home. And that's it. So again, like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.